Baal Thackeray. Baal Kashav Thackeray also known as Bala Saheb Thackeray, January 23, 1926, November 17, 2012, was an Indian politician who founded the Shiv Sena, a right-wing Marathi ethnocentric party active mainly in the western state of Maharashtra. Thackeray began his professional career as a cartoonist with the English-language daily The Free Press Journal in Mumbai, but left it in 1960 to form his own political weekly Marmik. His political philosophy was largely shaped by his father Keshav Sitaram Thackeray, a leading figure in the Samyukta Maharashtra United Maharashtra, movement, which advocated the creation of a separate linguistic state. Through Marmik, he campaigned against the growing influence of non marathas in Mumbai. In 1966, Thackeray formed the Shiv Sena party to advocate for the interests of Maharashtrians in Mumbai's political and professional landscape. Holding views attacking Muslims and once praising Adolf Hitler, he was known for his writings and was seen as a good orator. He had a large political influence in the state, especially in Mumbai. His party frequently used violent means against its detractors. Thackeray and Chief Minister Manohar Joshi were blamed for inciting the Shiv Sainiks to commit violence against Muslims during the 1992 1993 Bombay riot scene. The Sri Krishna Commission report, an inquiry by the government. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Thackeray built the party by forming temporary alliances with nearly all of state's political parties. Thackeray was also the founder of the Marathi language newspaper Samana. After the riots of 1992-93, he and his party took a Hindutva stance. In 1999, Thackeray was banned from voting and contesting in any election for six years on the recommendations of the Election Commission for indulging and seeking votes in the name of religion. Besides getting arrested multiple times and briefly going to prison, Thackeray never faced any major legal repercussions for his actions. Upon his death, he was accorded a state funeral with a large number of mourners present. Thackeray did not hold any official position and never was formally elected as the leader of his party. Thackeray was born in Pune on January 23, 1926 to Ramabai and Keshav Sitaram Thackeray, also known as Prabhat Hainkar. He was the eldest of nine siblings and belonged to the Marathi Chandras and Yakayas the Prabhu or CKP community. Keshav was a progressive social activist and writer who was involved in the Samyukta Maharashtra movement of the 1950s that argued for the creation of a unified state called Maharashtra for Marathi-speaking areas with Mumbai as its capital. Keshav's political philosophy inspired Thackeray. Thackeray began his career as a cartoonist in the Free Press Journal in Mumbai. His cartoons were also published in the Sunday edition of the Times of India. In 1960, he launched the cartoon weekly Marmik with his brother Srikant. He used it to campaign against the growing numbers and influence of non marathi people in Mumbai, targeting South Indians. After Thackeray's differences with the Free Press Journal, he and four or five people, including politician George Fernandez, left the paper and started their own daily news day. The paper survived for one or two months. The success of Marmik prompted him to form the Shiv Sena on June 19, 1966. The name Shiv Sena, Shivaji's army, was after the 17th century Maratha king. Initially, Thackeray said it was not a political party but an army of Shivaji, inclined to fight for the Marathi Manus, person. It demanded that native speakers of the state's local language Marathi, the Sons of the Soil movement, be given preferential treatment in private and public sector jobs. The early objective of the Shiv Sena was to ensure their job security competing against South Indians and Gujaratis. In its 1966 party manifesto, Thackeray primarily blamed South Indians. In Marmak, Thackeray published a list of corporate officials from a local directory, many being South Indians, citing it as proof that Maharashtrians were being discriminated against. His party grew in the next ten years. Senior leaders such as Baba Saheb Purandare, Chief Attorney for Trade Union of Maharashtra Madhav Mayer joined the party and chartered architect Madhav Gajanan Desh Pandey backed various aspects of the party operations. In 1969, Thackeray and Manohar Joshi were jailed after participating in a protest demanding the merger of Karwar, Belgaum and Nippani regions in Maharashtra. During the 1970s, it did not succeed in the local elections and it was active mainly in Bombay, compared to the rest of the state. The party set up local branch offices and settled disputes, complaints against the government. It later started violent tactics with attacks against rival parties, migrants and the media, the party agitated by destroying public and private property. Thackeray publicly supported Indira Gandhi during the 1975 emergency to avoid getting arrested, 
Thackeray supported the Congress Party numerous times. Dr. Dadhemchandra Gupta, mayor of Bombay and the former family physician and confidant of Thackeray, left Shiv Sena in 1976 citing importance given to money, violence committed by the Shiv Sena members and Thackeray's support for Mrs. Gandhi and the 1975 emergency. Politically, the Shiv Sena was anti-communist, and wrested control of trade unions in Mumbai from the Communist Party of India, CPI. Local unemployed youth from the declining textile industry joined the party and it further expanded because of Marathi migrants from the Konkan region. By the 1980s, it became a threat to the ruling Congress party which initially encouraged it because of it rivaling the CPI. In 1989, the Sina's newspaper Samna was launched by Thackeray. Because of Thackeray being against the Mondal Commission report, his close aide Chagan Bhushbal left the party in 1991. Following the 1992 Bombay riots, Thackeray took stances viewed as anti-Muslim and based on Hindutva. The SS later allied itself with the Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP). The BJP Shiv Sena alliance won the 1995 Maharashtra state assembly elections and were in power from 1995 to 1999. Thackeray declared himself to be the remote control chief minister. Thackeray and the chief minister Manohar Joshi were explicitly named for inciting the Shiv Sainiks for violence against Muslims during the 1992-1993 riot scene and inquiry ordered by the government of India, the Sri Krishna Commission report. However, Manohar Joshi, then a part of the BJP Sena government Khalid report anti-Hindu, pro-Muslim and biased and refused to adopt the commission's recommendations. He had influence in the film industry. His party workers agitated against films he found controversial and would disrupt film screenings, causing losses. Bombay, a 1995 film on the riots was opposed by them. On July 28, 1999 Thackeray was banned from voting and contesting in any election for six years from December 11, 1999 till December 10, 2005 on the recommendations of the Election Commission for indulging in corrupt practice by seeking votes in the name of religion. In 2000, he was arrested for his role in the riots but was released because the statute of limitations expired. In 2002, Thackeray issued a call to form Hindu suicide bomber squads to take on the menace of terrorism. In response, the Maharashtra government registered a case against him for inciting enmity between different groups. At least two organizations founded and managed by retired Indian Army officers, Lt. Col. Jayant Rao Chitale and Lt. Gen. P. N. Hoon, former commander in chief of the Western Command, responded to the call with such statements as not allowing Pakistanis to work in India duetto accusations against Pakistan for supporting attacks in India by militants. After the six-year voting ban on Thackeray was lifted in 2005, he voted for the first time in the 2007 BMC elections. Eight or nine cases against Thackeray and Somna for inflammatory writings were not investigated by the government. Thackeray said that the Shiv Sena had helped the Marathi people in Mumbai, especially in the public sector. Ref name equals public sector, threats against other communities, businesses owned especially by Gujan Marawari slash slash Ref Thackeray believed that Hindus must be organized to struggle against those who oppose their identity and religion. Opposition leftist parties alleged that the Shiv Sena has done little to solve the problem of unemployment facing a large proportion of Maharashtrian youth during its tenure in contradiction to its ideological foundation of Sons of the Soil. In 2006, Thackeray's nephew Raj Thackeray broke away from Shiv Sena to form the Maharashtra Nave Nirman Sena, MNS, during Thackeray's retirement and appointment of his son, Udav rather than Raj as the leader of Shiv Sena. Narayan Rane also quit around that time. The Sena acted as a moral police and opposed Valentine's Day celebrations. On February 14, 2006, Thackeray condemned and apologized for the violent attacks be its Shiv Sainiks on a private celebration in Mumbai. It is said that women were beaten up in the Nalasapra incident. If that really happened, then it is a symbol of cowardice. I have always instructed Shiv Sainiks that in any situation women should not be humiliated and harassed. Thackeray and the Shiv Sena remained opposed to it, although they indicated support for an Indian alternative. In 2007, he was briefly arrested and let out on bail after referring to Muslims as green poison during a Shiv Sena rally. On March 27, 2008, in protest to Thackeray's editorial, leaders of Shiv Sena in Delhi resigned, citing its outrageous conduct towards non-Marathas in Maharashtra and announced that they would form a separate party.
Addressing a press conference, Shiv Sena's North India chief J. Bhagwan Goyal said the decision to leave the party was taken because of the partial attitude of the party high command towards Maharashtrians. Goyal further said Shiv Sena is no different from Khalistan and Jammu and Kashmir militant groups which are trying to create a rift between people along regional lines. The main aim of these forces is to split our country. Like the Maharashtra Nave Nurman Sena, the Shiv Sena too has demeaned North Indians and treated them inhumanely. Thackeray was criticized for his praise of Adolf Hitler which he later neither admitted nor denied. He was quoted by Asia Week as saying, I am a great admirer Ralph Hitler, and I am not ashamed to say so. I do not say that I agree with all the methods he employed, but he was a wonderful organizer and order, and I feel that he and I have several things in common, what India really needs is a dictator who will rule benevolently, but with an iron hand. In a 1993 interview, Thackeray stated, there is nothing wrong if Muslims are treated as Jews were in Nazi Germany. In another 1992 interview, Thackeray stated, If you take Mein Kampf and if you remove the word Jew and put in the word Muslim, that is what I believe in. Indian Express published an interview on January 29, 2007, Hitler did very cruel and ugly things. But he was an artist, I love him, for that. He had the power to carry the whole nation, the mob with him. You have to think with magic he had. He was a miracle the killing of Jews was wrong. But the good part about Hitler was that he was an artist. He was a daredevil. He had good qualities and bad. I may also have good qualities and bad ones. Thackeray also declared that he was not against every Muslim, but only those who reside in this country but do not obey the laws of the land, I consider such people, to be, traitors. The Shiv Sina is viewed by the liberal media as being anti-Muslim, though Shiv Sina members officially reject this accusation. When explaining his views on Hindutva, he conflated Islam with violence and called on Hindus to fight terrorism and fight Islam. In an interview with Suketu Mehta, he called for the mass expulsion of illegal Bangladeshi Muslim migrants from India and for a visa system to enter Mumbai. The Indian National Congress state government had earlier during the Indira Gandhi declared national emergency considered a similar measure. He told India today, Muslims, are spreading like a cancer and should be operated on like a cancer. The Country should be saved from the Muslims and the police should support them, Hindu Mahasang, in their struggle just like the police in Punjab were sympathetic to the Khalistanis. However, in an interview in 1998, he said that his stance had changed on many issues that the Shiv Sena had with Muslims, particularly regarding the Babri Mosque or Ram Janmabhumi issue, we must look after the Muslims and treat them as part of us. He also expressed admiration for Muslims in Mumbai in the wake of the July 11, 2006 Mumbai train bombings perpetrated by Islamic fundamentalists. In response to threats made by Abu Azmi, a leader of the Samajwadi Party, that accusations of terrorism directed at Indian Muslims would bring about communal strife, Thackeray said that the unity of Mumbai cars, residents of Mumbai, in the wake of the attacks was a slap to fanatics of Samajwadi Party leader Abu Asim Azmi and that Thackeray salute as those Muslims who participated in the two-minute silence on July 18 to mourn the blast victims. Again in 2008 he wrote, Islamic terrorism is growing and Hindu terrorism is the only way to counter it. We need suicide bomb squads to protect India and Hindus. He also reiterated a desire for Hindus to unite across linguistic barriers to see a Hindu stand for Hindus and to bring Islam in this country down to its knees. In 2008, following agitation against by Harris and other North Indians traveling to Maharashtra to take civil service examinations for the Indian Railways duetto and over limit of the quota in their home provinces, Thackeray also said of Bihari MPs that they were spitting in the same plate from which they ate when they criticized Mumbai cars and Maharashtrians. He wrote, they are trying to add fuel to the fire that has been extinguished, by saying that Mumbai cars have rotten brains. He also criticized Chath Puja, a holiday celebrated by Bai Harris and those from eastern Uttar Pradesh, which occurs on six days of the Hindu month of Kartik. He said that it was not a real holiday. This was reportedly a response to MPs from Bihar who had disrupted the proceedings of the Lok Sabha in protest of the attacks on North Indians. Bihar Chief Minister Natish Kumar, upset with the remarks, called on the Prime Minister and the central government to intervene in the matter. A Somna editorial prompted at least 16 MPs from Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, belonging to the Rashtriya Janata Dal, Janata Dal, United, Samajwadi Party and the Indian National Congress, to give notice for breach of privilege proceedings against Thackeray. After the matter was raised in the Lok Sabha, 
Speaker Somnath Chatterjee said, If anybody has made any comment on our members functioning in the conduct-off business in the House, not only do we treat that with the contempt that it deserves, but also any action that may be necessary will be taken according to procedure and well-established norms. Nobody will be spared. In 2009, he criticized Indian cricketer Sachin Tendulkar, a Marathi icon, for saying he was an Indian before he was a Maharashtrian. Thackeray defended Savarkar against criticism and praised him as a great leader. In 2002, when President Abdul Kalam unveiled a portrait of Savarkar in the presence of Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, the Congress party opposed the unveiling of the portrait and boycotted the function. Thackeray criticized the opposition and said who is, Congress president and leader of the opposition, Sonia Gandhi to object to the portrait. What relation does she have with the country? How much does she know about the history and culture of India? Years later, when Congress General Secretary Digvijay Singh made a statement that Savarkar was the first to suggest the two-nation theory that led to the partition, Thackeray defended Savarkar and accused Singh of distorting history. In 1990, an Islamic militant organization, through the columns of a Nuradu daily, warned Kashmiri pandits to leave the valley within 36 hours. Baal Thackeray got seats reserved in engineering colleges for the children of these Kashmiri pandits in Maharashtra. He was one of the first persons to help them after which Punjab also followed suit. At a meeting with them he supported the idea that the Kashmiri pandits could be armed for their self-defense against violent jihadis. Thackeray died on November 17, 2012 as a consequence of a cardiac arrest. Mumbai came to a virtual halt immediately as the news broke out about his death, with shops and commercial establishments shutting down. The entire state of Maharashtra was put on high alert. The police appealed for calm and 20,000 Mumbai police officers, 15 units of the State Reserve Police Force and three contingents of the Rapid Action Force were deployed. It was reported that Shiv Sena workers forced shops to close down in some areas. The then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh called for calm in the city and praised Thackeray's strong leadership, while there were also statements of praise and condolences from other senior politicians such as the then Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP leader and MP, L. K. Advani. He was accorded a state funeral at Shivaji Park, which generated some controversy and resulted from demands made by Shiv Sena. It was the first public funeral in the city since that of Bal Gangadhar Tilak in 1920. Thackeray's body was moved to the park on 18th of November. Many mourners attended his funeral, although there were no official figures. The range reported in media sources varied from around 1 million to 1.5 million and as many as nearly 2 million. His cremation took place the next day. Where his son Udav lit the pyre. Among those present at his cremation were senior representatives of the Maharashtra government, and the event was broadcast live on national television channels. The Parliament of India opened for its winter session on November 21, 2012. Thackeray was the only non member to be noted in its traditional list of obituaries. He is one of few people to have been recorded thus without being a member of either the Lok Sabha or the Rajya Sabha. Despite having not held any official position, he was given the 21 gun salute which was again a rare honor. Both houses of Bihar Assembly also paid tribute. The funeral expenses created further controversies when media reports claimed that the BMC had used taxpayers' money. In response to these reports, the party later sent a check of 500,000 rupees to the corporation. The Hindu, in an editorial, said regarding the shutdown that Thackeray's legion of followers raised him to the status of a demigod who could force an entire state to shut down with the mere threat of violence. Following his death, Police arrested a 21-year-old woman who posted a Facebook comment against him, as well as her friend who liked the comment. Shiv Sena members also vandalized the clinic owned by the woman's relative. Thackeray was called Bala Saheb and Hindu Rude Samrat, Emperor of Hindu Hearts, by his supporters. His yearly address at Shivaji Park was popular among his followers. In 2012, he instead gave a videotaped speech and urged his followers to give the same love and affection to his son and political erudav as they had given him. Thackeray was known to convert popular sentiment into votes, getting into controversies and making no apologies for it though his son has tried to tone down the party's stance after his death. He was known for his inflammatory writings, was seen as a good orator who used cruel humor to engage his audience. He had a large political influence throughout the state, especially in Mumbai. His party never had any formal internal elections nor was he ever formally elected as its chief at any point. 
Jyan Prakash said, of course, the Samyukta Maharashtra movement had mobilized Marathi speakers as a political entity, but it was Thackeray who successfully deployed it as an anti-immigrant, populist force. A memorial for him was proposed at Shivaji Park but legal issues and opposition from local residents continue to delay it. Thackeray is satirized in Salman Rushdie's 1995 novel The Moor's Last Sigh as Raman Fielding. The book was banned by the Maharashtra state government. Sukhetumeda interviewed Thackeray in his critically acclaimed, Pulitzer nominated, non fiction 2004 book Maximum City. Thackeray previewed director Ram Gopal Verma's film Sarkar, which is loosely based on him, released in 2005. The 2011 documentary J. Bim Comrade depicted a speech by Thackeray at a public rally, in which he articulated genocidal sentiments about Muslims, stating that they were the species to be exterminated. The documentary followed this by showing several Dalit leaders criticizing Thackeray for his beliefs. Thackeray was married to Mina Thackeray, nay Sarlavidya, on June 13, 1948 and had three sons, Binda Madhav, Jai Dev, and Dudav. Mina died in 1995 and Binda Madhav died the following year in a car accident. Udav succeeded his father as the leader of Shiv Sena. Udav's son, Aditya wants to continue the family dynasty by getting active in the youth wing of the party. Raj is his brother Srikant's son. Despite Raj's breakaway from the main party, Raj continues to maintain that Thackeray was his ideologue and relations between them improved during Thackeray's final years. Sonia Yabani Karandikar is Bal Thackeray's sister. Thackeray drew cartoons for Marmik and contributed to Somna till 2012. He cited the British cartoonist David Lowe as his inspiration. He was fond of beer and cigars. An upcoming Bollywood biopic about Bal Thackeray, titled Thackeray, Starring now Azud and Siddiqui and written by Shiv Sena politician Sanjay Raut is scheduled for release on January 23, 2019. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.